Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be bringing down Jeff Wilson Jr. and his trade to the Miami Dolphins and in a little film session, just breaking down what he brings to the table. Before we start, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. That would really help my channel grow. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. Wow, do I love this pickup for the Miami Dolphins offense. I think I think he's going to be a legitimate game changer. Um, obviously, he's been really productive in San Francisco over the past couple seasons as a guy in the mix um, of sorts. And, you know, without Elijah Mitchell to start the season, he's been really productive uh, for the 49ers. And I know the 49ers just brought in Christian McCaffrey. And so we haven't really seen Jeff Wilson as much in the past two weeks or so. But overall, 468 yards on 92 attempts, two rushing touchdowns. He's averaging over five yards a carry. And then he's added... 10 catches for 91 yards too. Um, so far, he's had a very productive season for the 49ers, and he's coming to a Mike McDaniel offense that is very similar to what the 49ers like to do. So at the end of the day, he's comfortable with the system. We're going to dive into all that, but now let's just dive into what Jeff Wilson Jr. really brings to this offense in a quick film session. So Jeff Wilson Jr., number one thing I love about him is the speed, right? And that's something about this Dolphins offense. Raheem Mostert, super fast. Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, they're all really they're this 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 offense is is quick. And that's how you win in the NFL. You win with speed and you win with the ability to get the football into players' hands that are fast and that can get down the field quickly. And that's that's how you win in the NFL. And that's what the Dolphins are building. They're building a track team. And they're building a track team with a lot of skill. And Jeff Wilson Jr. is another member of this track team. That is that simple. Anyway. My point here is Jeff Wilson Jr., when he gets the ball in his hands and he's got he's he's moving downhill, he is quick. You're going to see him on this play against the Denver Broncos. And I've pulled from really two games. One of his games from the Broncos that I really liked a lot and, and, and a couple of clips from a big Panthers game that he had where he had like over 130 yards. Um, anyway, this is going to be Jeff Wilson here right in the backfield. Look at his burst as soon as he gets the snap. He is he he gets moving down in a hurry, right? The entire play looks like it's trying to run this way, but the Broncos actually do a good job stacking that up. So what does Jeff Wilson Jr. do? Great vision here. Cuts back. Cuts back this way. And you're going to see him here hit the hole, right? Sees this small little hole, small little opening, and then just bursts through. And that burst is what makes him really solid. And he's going to be a backup running back. And honestly, he's one of the best backups in the league. And I mean, he's always productive when he when, when he gets the ball in his hands. And he's always pr productive when the starting running back is out. Um, it's just seeming like that every week in fantasy football, I'm going up against Jeff Wilson Jr. with, you know, Elijah Mitchell out. Um, and, and he's putting up numbers. And that's what Jeff Wilson Jr. does. And he's been doing that over the past couple of seasons. So, you know, just look at him right here. Good tackle opportunity here, maybe for Jeff Wilson to get to get brought down. No, what does he do? Just burst right through it. And that's kind of the explosiveness he has. Burst, burst right through it. He's able to get downhill, get downhill, get downhill. And look, now there's one, two defenders in front of him, right? He is going to be brought down here, unfortunately. But look at how much, how many yards he picked up just because of his burst at the line of scrimmage right here. Quick burst, a quick acceleration. This guy has speed. And that's what the Dolphins are all about. And this time for Jeff Wilson Jr., it's all about the explosiveness, explosiveness rather, and recognizes the hole, but outside the tackles. Um, and I love Jeff Wilson Jr.'s just quick burst and quick speed because it really allows him to get to the outside pretty quickly. Um, you're going to see him here right in the backfield once again. He's going to take the snap, um, and it's going to actually be a run out to the right. So you're going to see him here, right? You see this congestion here. What's he do? Runs right through it. Right through the congestion. Right through, right, right through this, right? Good job just breaking through that tackle. And then as soon as he gets the smallest ounce of open space, he's at 100%. He's at full gas. He's at full moving the ball downfield. Love his ability to get, get the ball outside and create that angle for himself, right? Once again, breaking through tackles. One, two guys right there. They can't bring him down. He's able to just get right through that and keep moving upfield. As soon as he has the smallest ounce of open space, he can break tackles, he can he can move his legs, and he moves his legs quickly. And that's what I love about Jeff Wilson Jr. He's a, he's really fast. He's really fast. He gets outside. He's a good runner, good vision, can break tackles. He's really the perfect backup running back. And I think that, honestly, he has the potential to be a starter um, if, 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 if a team really wanted to make him a starter. Um, I, I think he is that good. I don't know how how consistent he would be with 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 bigger amounts of carries um but in the smaller sample sizes that he's had um and i guess he has had a had a, had a big sample size over the past couple seasons um he's always very productive and simply every single run is just him outrunning everybody it's really re really just seems that simple once again in the backfield here um and he's going to take the snap and he's going to follow his blocks right 
good vision here, understanding this is where the hole is. He's going to cut through here and then simply just burst as soon as he gets the smallest ounce of open space. He's got really good traffic. He's got really good vision in, 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 in traffic and really good vision in, in these short, small, cramped areas on the football field. And as soon as he gets the smallest ounce of space, what does he do? Bursts. And he always finds the open space because he can he can get that open space and he can run after the run after and run into that open space because he's fast and he he knows where to go. Right? He's just got those great football instincts. He's got those good running back instincts. And you can just see how quick quick he is here. Getting to the outside and honestly um, I think the defender does a really good job cutting down, cutting down the angle, or else it's a touchdown. Um, sticking with him, but he he's got really good bursts, and he wants to get the outside. He wants to move the move move the ball downfield because he he's he's really he's really talented, um, and I I think he just adds a lot to this Dolphins offense at the end of the day. Um, because just of his speed, at, at, it's really that simple. This Dolphins offense is trying to be fast. They got the guy who's fast, and they got the guy who knows the system with 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 uh, Mike McDaniel. So I think he could be a really deadly piece uh, for this Dolphins offense. At the end of the day, though, he's not one dimensional. About ten percent of his touches um, have come as 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 passes, right? And you know he can catch the ball a little bit too. On this play here, they're going to kind of run a little screen for him. He's going to loop out into the flat. They're going to get two tackles here um, to to go block. They've got these wide receivers blocking up field too, um, and they're going to try and get. Jeff Wilson Jr. in some open space. Really good job, right? Just setting up into the flat here. He's got the two O-linemen going out to block. And what's he going to do is just going to follow those blocks, find the open space, pick up a first down. Once again, really good in open space, really good one-cut guy, puts his foot on the ground and runs. He, he trusts his instincts, he trusts his direction, um, and gets the outside quickly, uses that speed, isn't afraid of contact. Um, and picks up the first down. I really, I just really love when Jeff Olson Jr. has the ball in his hands because he he picks up yards, and that's what the Dolphins' offense needs. They need more guys who can pick up yards. He can do it on the ground, and he can do it as a pass catcher. And the thing I love about Jeff Olson Jr. the most is number one, he's familiar with this Mike Daniel offense. He's gonna get. It's gonna take him no time to get acclimatized to the run game here in Miami. Um, obviously, he's been teammates with Raheem Mostert before. He knows. He he just knows. He knows what this offense is gonna look like, and he's been productive in this offense before. And at the end of the day, that's why Mike McDaniel has opted to go with Jeff Wilson Jr. as his backup and Raheem Mostert as, as his starter because the run game is really important for his offense, and he trusts those guys. He's built connections with them over over his time in San Francisco, and after the Chase Edmonds experiment in Miami, just really has not worked out. He got traded to the Broncos as part of the Bradley Chubb deal so that they have some sort of running back after, um, you know, Javante Williams went down with injury. Um, that Chase Edmonds deal was, was really ended up it just didn't work. I thought he was actually pretty good in, in Arizona last season, um, but in Miami, just could never really get going. He didn't look good running the football. He didn't look good as a pass catcher. I, I always thought he was a big hit away from an injury. Um, but I think that a guy like uh, Wilson is just so fundamentally different. Um, he's got the speed. He's got the pass catching ability. But more importantly, he's a good runner. And, and and the 49ers over the past couple of years have succeeded in running back by committees. And I think that's something that the Dolphins could really excel into. I think Raheem Mostert getting the bulk of touches is really productive. I think he's a very talented running back. I love his ability to run between the tackles um, and run with power, but also have the ability to get to the outside and run with speed. But Jeff Wilson Jr. is the burst guy too. He can get to the outside. He can catch passes. I think that this is a quick offense, and that's what that's that's what the Dolphins wanted. A quick and productive offense. They've built that around Tua, and now it's time for Tua to go play and 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 get out there with his weapons and go perform. And he's performed so far this season. He's thrown for I think at this point almost fifteen hundred yards, twelve touchdowns, and three interceptions um, in limited time. Obviously, had a had the injury, um, had the concussion, and, and and all that stuff earlier this year. But since then, he's been he's been good. Looks like he was getting back into things against Detroit. Um, and next week they play Chicago. So um, look for him to once again take another step forward with all these pieces around him. This this offense is really complete. And with the Bradley Chubb trade too, it's clear that the Dolphins are in a win now mode. It's clear that they have the guys that they want in the building. And Jeff Wilson Jr. is another one of those guys. Even if it's a backup running back position, right? It's still a guy that the Dolphins trust to give the ball to um, because Mike Montano has that relationship with him. I really like these moves from the Dolphins. I think that they're very productive, and I think that this Dolphins team is legit now. And with that said, that's pretty much going to end the video for today. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? Leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video, and until next time, see ya.